I learned while, while serving a mission that you can never do more for the Lord than He can do for you. Serving a mission was the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. There's never been a time when I've been more happy. There's never been a time when I've felt more peace. And there's never been a time when I've been so close or had ever been so close to the Lord. Being able to, to serve Him all day, every day, was one of the greatest things that I've ever done. I, I know with every fiber of my body that the church is true and that it's restored in these latter days and that there's a prophet on the earth, President Thomas S. Monson. I know that Joseph Smith is a prophet of God. And there's no greater thing than the opportunity to be able to share what I know to be true to the people that I love. I know that our Father in Heaven has a plan for each of us, that we're His children, that God is our Father in Heaven, and that when we pray to Him, He will listen to us and answer our prayers. He wants us to be happy and He wants us to succeed. And when we're on the Lord's errand, we're entitled to His help. There are so many times on my mission, so many opportunities and experiences and trials that came because He loved me. And when I viewed trials as an opportunity to learn versus an opportunity to be punished, my entire perspective changed and my love for the Lord grew deeper. And being able to, to go out in the rain and <laughs> even when you don't want to wake up or when you, when you don't want to exercise or do the things to, to qualify you for the Spirit, when you do them, you're blessed. And if I had any suggestions to missionaries that are about to leave on their mission, it would be to forget yourself. It's not about you. Just as, <laughs> as Gordon B. Hinckley's father said to him, forget yourself and go to work. That's what a mission is all about, learning to forget yourself and go to work and, and give everything you have to the Lord. And to say, you know, at the end of your mission that you have no regrets, that you gave everything. When I left my mission, it was one of the hardest experiences of my life. I remember sitting on the plane and I opened up the Book of Mormon and I read the verse, a verse found in Mosiah from King Benjamin that said, when you're in the service of your fellow beings, you're only in the service of your God. I remember just sitting on the plane that day as tears filled my eyes, knowing that I had, I had served the Lord for two years and I had served serve God and done what He would want me to do. And I strongly suggest any of you who are deciding to serve a mission or if you're in that deciding stage to serve, it will change your life forever as it has changed mine. And I know that the gospel is true and that when we apply it into our life, it makes us into completely new, new people. And the atonement of Jesus Christ is real. That it allows us to change. That it allows us to grow. That it allows us to start again to have new opportunities. Yeah, I know I know that it's true. And and I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen.